onward. This movie was decent. Pretty, pretty decent. It wasn't the best, it wasn't the worst, but there were parts I liked, there were parts I didn't really hate, but I thought were mediocre. It was a decent movie. So every year, I often like to go and do a Pixar review on the new movie that comes out, and this one is going to be Onward. So, of course, if you know, this movie is about uh, these two um, elf kids who go on this journey so they can go and bring back, back their father for one day. But they go and mess up, and it only brings back his, his bottom half, so they have to go on this journey to go and tr try to go and get him back full so they can go and say their goodbyes uh, for good. And this is going to be my review on it. But first, let's go and give a review on that Simpsons short of all things. Because yes, we have to go and be reminded that Disney owns The Simpsons now. So this special was pretty much just about uh, Maggie going to this park and she gets this crush on this one kid and uh, they go and have a, a play a lot together. She uh, goes and gives him his, uh, her, little, her little bow and, uh, and, and they hope to go and see each other more but Homer goes and uh, takes her to a uh, a different park for a bunch of skaters and things like that, and eventually she she does go and, and see him again, and then they go on this uh on this uh, little train and and they get together again. So it was only a couple minutes long, and uh, it was cute, I guess. Uh, there were some moments I liked. I thought it was it wasn't really funny. There was it had some some fu funny parts, I guess, but for the most part, it was just your typical modern Simpsons what you see today. But now we get to the real review. Onward. So, like I said, it's about a movie about these two kids going on this journey to go and get their father back for one day. And I thought uh, the plot was uh, pretty good, uh, I think so. It's, it's a creative, definitely creative. Uh, we don't really see uh, too much of things like that. We, we do see uh, plots where pe people will go and try to go and get someone they loved back, but, uh, which is the bottom half, I, I don't think we've really seen that before. So, it, it takes place on this one kid's, uh, Ian's birthday. He's turning 16 years old, and I guess, uh, he's seen as an adult. I'm, usually that's around 17 or 18, but, I don't know. <laughs> but, yes, he's turning, uh, 16 years old, and, uh, he goes and gets this staff that his father left him, and it says it's gonna go and bring him back for one day. At first, they aren't able to get it, but eventually him, him and his brother are able to go and bring back, but of course, only his bottom half. They find out that they only have one day to go and bring him back full, so they have to go on this long journey to go and get it. This involves going to this, uh, this tavern where this uh, one beast lives, and uh, but uh, she really isn't all this big anymore and fierce, uh, but now she's calmed down and she's the, the owner of this family restaurant. And they also go to the, this uh, place with all these pixies who don't know how to fly anymore and uh, the rubber gets shrunk. And then they go and follow these ravens and then have to go on top of this invisible bridge and have to go and almost get drowned in water. So, what do I think about pretty much just everything? The animation. So, I think I've actually seen better from Pixar. I mean, the animation wasn't horrible, obviously, but I'm pretty sure I've always seen better. This, I guess they were trying to go in for more of a cartoony-like uh, way with here, because I'm just trying to go and make these blue elves realistic is, is going to be pretty weird. One problem I they kind of had was this, the character designs. And a lot of people said this. They thought that uh, Ian looked like uh, Linguini from Ratatouille, and then Barley looked like... Um, Kristoff from Frozen, and they kind of do. And, but it, it's not uh, too bad. You you do eventually get used to these designs, but yeah, I saw some design throughout the movie that just... I would go like, oh, I, I've seen that before. It's that one character. But I, I know, I get it. Character designs can be pretty difficult, especially female designs, because with male designs, you can get the face more bulky, or, or it can be square, or a circle, but... Usually with a woman or a girl, it, 
it usually just has to be a, a circle or an oval. And you just have only so many designs that you can do. So, there were some funny moments in here. Uh, the part where the dad w was going around and dancing and the boys were like, Oh man, he's lame. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Uh, the part where uh, the, the guy when goes and gets shrunk in half and then he's in the pocket and says, I'll just go in here. That too was uh, <laughs> kind of funny at times. I would probably say that I think actually Toy Story 4 was funnier than this. It's, it wasn't unfunny, but we've definitely seen some more funny Pixar movies than uh, this one was. I do think the music was really good, though. There were some parts of the music where I was just going like, Hey, yeah! Or it, it, it goes and really gets you in it, and you're just pretty much biting your fingernails from, from it. So, I think the music in this thing was actually probably my favorite thing overall. It, it was something I d definitely did really enjoy. As for the character's personalities, you, uh, Ian is just, uh, your typical, uh, teenager, teenage kid who has no confidence. He's going to this, uh, high school. He's trying to make all these friends and everything like that. And, uh, but he has trouble with it and he wants to go and impress his father and he's, uh, just wants him to be proud of him, just like, uh, any kid would. would. And, uh, th then we also have Barley. He's, uh, He's more rough around the edges. He's adventurous. And is he doesn't want to be scared of anything because of what he did when he was a kid when he wanted to go and see his uh, father when he was on his deathbed. And I'll also go, also go and add, that was a little sad. Because I'm pretty sure there are, are a lot of kids out there who saw their parents on their deathbed and they chose not to go and see them because it scared them and eventually it was probably one of their biggest regrets. And so... I can definitely go and see why uh, e Barley was uh, really regretful of it, and it was a little bit of a sad scene. I do think uh, the the ending was pretty good too. I, I did really like the ending, where the and, and, and they chose a, a a pretty good way to do it, rather than have um, both of the brothers go and see the dad and say their goodbyes. Uh, Ian comes and realizes that realizes that uh, his brother was actually his father figure. He was the one who he played catch with. He was the one who taught him to ride on a bike. He was the one that he went and learned how to drive with. So he was the father figure that he always wanted. And uh, that part I did really like. It was a pretty good moment. And I'm happy they didn't choose the route of him going and seeing his father. But rather this one. It was a really smart move in my opinion. That, that I liked. So, uh... Overall, I guess I would say it's just uh, a pretty good movie, but definitely not one of my favorites. If I had to place it somewhere on a Pixar list, I, I made one about several months ago, but I forgot where I quit everything. It would probably be uh, maybe number 12 or number 13. Maybe a little bit higher, 10 at the most, but that's really pushing it. Because I don't even know, remember what 10 is anymore, but that would probably be the most. I, I, pro I don't think I would go, would go beyond there, but I want to go uh, behind uh, 15. So it's probably around 10 to 15, I think. Not too sure on that, but most likely. But uh, I was trying to go and look for uh, the, the regular uh, Easter eggs you, you usually see in the movie. I didn't see A113, uh, it was probably uh, hidden somewhere, and I didn't see the Pixar plant truck. I imagine the Pixar plant truck was probably somewhere on the highway, but there are so many cars, you're just trying to go and scan all of them, and there's just so, only so much time you can go and see everyone before it changes the scene, so that's where I imagine it was, but who knows, it, maybe it couldn't have been somewhere else, maybe it was uh, somewhere in the magical world where I just, uh, I wasn't even looking for it. Then A113, uh, that one, I don't know where it could have been. I mean, I'm trying to think of a creative way it could have been on somewhere. Uh, maybe it was on a map, or maybe it was just uh, in some kind of magical way, if that makes sense. But I couldn't find it overall. 
And then there was uh, the one for the new movie that's coming out, Soul. That one I couldn't find either. Uh, I'm not even sure what they would put in. A piano or maybe the form that the guy's in. I have no idea. But uh, that movie, uh, I think I'm looking forward to a little bit more. Uh, I was actually looking forward to it more before this movie even came out, so... Hopefully this one will be a little bit better, but... If it's about the same, then... Who knows what's uh, who's going to win the Best Academy Award for Best Anime Picture this year. It might be Scoob. Because honestly, that, that movie looks like it could be pretty good. I'm, I might have heard a Scooby-Doo movie. So, yeah, that's my uh, review for Onward. Okay movie, but it could have been a lot better. It could have been a lot worse, but still, I liked it.